What's going on guys, Amazing YT here back with another video and today we're going to be going over the Awakened Lilia Disaster Battle Preview, so let's get into it. Alright, so we have the new teaser for the Awakened Lilia Raid coming to Global, so right after we watch this video, I want to do like a discussion with you guys on what could be happening now, now that they've announced the, the Lilia Raid coming for Global. Like we knew it was coming, but we didn't know it was going to be coming during the celebration, so I have a few ideas of what's going to be happening. So let's just watch the video, I have the volume turned down, here we are. You know, Lilia, here we are. She has been awakened. Facts. Th this is ultimate waifu Lilia, okay? Any any evil waifu is is the is a top tier waifu, okay? Like if, if we had this Lilia in game, I oh my gosh, I'd sim, bro, no cap. Okay. Yeah, she she's sick though, she's sick. Um yeah. I already went over a video on what's gonna be happening for the raid on and like what you do. So definitely check that video. I'll link it in the description. This video is kinda gonna be like a discussion. Um, because I have a few ideas, right, of what, what I think is going to be happening now. So, damn, Arthur just got girt. Oh my gosh. Against the one who seeks to destroy the world. Yeah, that cut-in is so clean. Right? Like, Lilia is just so sick, man. Okay. Damn, that Escanor is getting destroyed, bro. That Escanor is getting destroyed. And only you can stop her rampage. Seven deadly sins, Grand Cross. Facts. Okay. So, that's going to be the video. Now that the video is over, um, as I said, check my video in the description going over exactly what happens in the raid. But for this video, we're going to be discussing the units that can be coming now. So we have the Blue Easton and the Red Mono. See, these two characters actually came out on a dual OC banner. And how it worked was they came out exactly when this Awakened Lilia raid came out too. So, my prediction now for Tuesday's update is honestly not going to be Lost Me Meliodas. I'm thinking they're gonna do these two units first, like as part one of the anniversary, maybe, and then Lost Vein Meliodas the week after. This is gonna make it so we're able to get the Lilia raid because in the Lilia raid you need to, like, they give you co cosmetics for Mono and Easton, right? The only way this would work is if they drop Lost Vein and then the week after they drop the Lilia raid with Mono and in and Easton, right? But it, I don't, I don't know if that's how they're gonna do it. They didn't really say what they were doing, but I mean. This is all speculation at this point. So let's go over their kits though, because they are pretty good units. So for Blue Easton, she's going to be the Blue Attribute SSR, and she's going to be, I don't even know what race that is. Uh, I think human. All right, so for her first skill, she's going to inflict damage equal to 300% of attack on all enemies and fills ultimate move gauge by two. So this is the same skill as Green Derriere, if you guys have used her. So for her second skill, she's going to increase attack related stats of all allies by 30% for three turns. This is just... This is this character is just a better green Helbrim, so that's literally all you guys need to know. For her ultimate, she's going to inflict spike damage equal to 350% of attack, and that's going to scale up to 525% of attack at 6 out of 6. For her passive, she's going to increase basic stats by 5% per each buff on allies and enemies, limit 5 times. So that's why Blue Easton is going to be really good when buffing your team for, for anything specific like that. Um, she is going to be very beneficial for like buffing Derriere, even like the mono red comp if you want the attack related stats on it. Um, yeah, very good unit. Um, I do recommend you pull for her if you've gotten Lost Vein. Like let's say you pull Lost Vein early and you have a few extra diamonds for the guaranteed on, on this banner. Then yeah, I mean, you might as well, right? It's She's a really good unit and you're guaranteed 242 gems. So the next unit we got is going to be the Mono. So Mono is the worst of the two, but she isn't as bad on JP at the moment because of the buff. Or not the buff, but because of what they've done with the new king, right? The new Festival King. She actually works really well with the new Festival King and uh, the new Demon Hendrickson. But let's go over her kit. So she's going to be Attribute Red. She's going to be SSR Rarity. And I think she's also another human race. So for her first skill, she's going to inflict sever damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy on rank 3. For her second skill here, she's going to inflict damage equal to 375% of attack on one enemy and poisons for 3 turns. So that's going to come into play with her passive. For her ultimate, she's going to inflict damage equal to 455% of attack on one enemy and makes the target bleed for two turns. This can scale up to 683% at 6 out of 6. For her passive, it's going to increase damage dealt by 50% if attacking enemies with bleed, poison, or shock debuffs. So that's why she works really well with the new Festival King and Demon Hendrickson on JP. So she does have her value in the future of the game, but at the moment when she does release on global, she's going to be a little bad. Um, she isn't going to be anything crazy, right? But those are the two units that could be coming with the Lilia raid. And I have Lost Vein pulled up here too, but just for discussion's sake. I honestly, now that I'm, now that I'm hearing about this Lilia raid and they're saying it's going to be coming for the, the Tuesday update, right? I am thinking now that 
we're probably gonna get mono and easton as like part one of the celebration maybe and then lost vein at part two or what they'll do is do lost vein part one and then mono and easton part two with the lilia raid so that's just my thoughts on on what's gonna be happening i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out